up. I've got no idea who this could be. It's Fawn! Fawn! Can I get you a tea or coffee, Fawn? Oh, yes, please. No milk, five sugars. Diva. Very sweet, five sugars. Hello, dears. Welcome to my wood. You might think a fawn is a young deer, but I'm certainly not the baby. OK, so she might be in, like, her 40s. Although, like a fawn, I admit that when I was younger, I was somewhat awkward. Call me a boffin, but maths was a passion. Is there someone quite smart? It says Sandy on her necklace. Sandy. Though my brain helped me to win later in life. Run, run, run. An Olympian, maybe. Now that I'm all grown up, I'm not awkward at all. Tonight, better hold on to your seat for dear life. Oh, look how pretty. Everybody. Wow, what oh, a voice. That was so beautiful. It was absolutely incredible. Oh, my Love God. that, Davina. Oh. I'm having a moment. Me and Rita, oh. we're both covered in goosebumps. Yes. Oh. Absolutely extraordinary. Oh, Love that. I will say this. She's quite hard to hug <laughs> because the ear really goes straight into your face. Five sugars. I was thinking, is that something to do with a girl band? So I had an idea of Mel C. She's got an amazingly versatile voice. Mel C's a good guest. I like that. Rita! Wow, 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 wow! And one more wow for good luck. Wow, 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 wow! I just can't believe your voice. It's so angelic, it's trained, it's extremely well-developed, which makes me think you might be a bit older in your 40s, maybe. You did have a lady wearing a necklace that said Sandy, which got me thinking Sandy Beaches, and then I went straight to Benidorm. That's a TV show. You yeah, might be yeah. a TV actress as well. And that got me to Hannah Waddingham. Hannah Waddingham. Bo, I'm going to come to you next. <laughs> 
Oh, what a lovely, breathtaking performance. It yes. felt like I was in like a Disney musical or something. It didn't help me for my guesses, though, because when I looked at the <laughs> clue package, the first thing you said was, dear. Someone it might say, oh, hello, my dear. How are you doing, dear? Kim Woodburn. <laughs> <laughs> I am struggling. <laughs> <laughs> We've wasted enough time with these poor guesses. Listen, here it is. It's coming. This is the moment you've been waiting for. OK. Aha. Oh, he stood up. I put the clues together. You've got to think mass. You've got to think finances. You've got to think what is a fawn, a baby deer, who recently looked like a deer in the headlights. Yes, I think in there, our ex chancellor of the Execa, Quasi Quartin! Yes! Yes! My work is done. Thank you. <laughs> Cannot believe you stood up for that. <laughs> diddle, diddle, diddle. Time for a riddle. So listen carefully because the clue is in the answer. Let's hear your riddle, please, Fawn. I live in a cottage and not in a palace. I visited Wonderland, but my name isn't Alice. Mm. Is it somebody that's played in Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. This yeah. is so hard. Alice. Alice. Who the... Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll only see who's inside when we say Wambi, Bambi, thank you, Mambi. Give it up for Fawn, everybody. <laughs> Are these guesses a million bucks, or can the panel not see the wood for the trees? Who do you think is behind the mask? That was fantastic. The panel are finding it quite hard to figure out my identity. 